Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, I just did a reading for Ireland and I've got that uploading. But this is the strange thing. At the end of that reading, I was talking to you folks saying, I believe most of you that are tuning in are light workers yourself. And I was just getting ready to, um, I was explaining how some things have happened and I, my spiritual protection, my spiritual team has really bumped up. Uh, it's always been a force, but it's really bumped up. And just as I was explaining that, everything cut. So that video, I put it up anyway, obviously. I'd just done the reading for Ireland. <laughs> so I wasn't going to, just because it cut and wouldn't didn't let me finish my, um, my thoughts, didn't mean that it wasn't going to go up. But... If you watch that and it cuts out, it's very odd. It just, it just stopped. Everything just stopped for no reason, for no reason. So anyway, what I was getting at then was that I'm going to do a reading um, for all of the light workers that are uh, here on a mission to bring healing to this planet to bring healing to themselves and to as many people and um, animals and, you know, bring in as much light and love and help prepare for this shift and enlightenment just by, like, sharing your knowledge and uh, telling people what it is that you know and where they can find information. And, you know, there's just so many... People here right now doing so many good things to help with this shift and um, so I want to do a reading uh, I just want spirit to kind of give us some um, insight just uh, enlighten us uh, as far as Maybe what we can be doing, what spirit wants us to know um, on this journey. I, I was saying that um, I had a lioness come here, a uh, spirit totem lioness and five rhino. Um, <clears throat> clearly, I don't live where they are, but these are animal totems animal spirit, their spirit is here with me, um, guiding me and guarding me right now, along with the rest of my spiritual team. So, um, as I looked into them, I did find that both of them are very gentle, um, gentle and loving by nature and, but, uh, they will rise to the occasion and um, do battle when needed. And with the lion, it is uh, use your voice, let them hear you roar. And I have been. <laughs> I have been. So just really interesting. And I want to, I just want to see, I just want to see what our guidance has to say. Um, for us to give us some insight. Um, uh, advice. Advice for us all right now. And yeah, bump up your spiritual um, protection right now. I think, I think, um, I just think it's a good thing. So whatever it is that you're doing for spiritual protection, uh, do that and then some, okay? Because I think right now, it's just a good thing. <laughs> just, um, you know, can't hurt, right? So, let's see what the insight is for all of us right now, okay? That's what we're doing. Just looking for some insight for all of us right now.
Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Wow, you guys. Wow. Where should I start? <laughs> should I start with what's driving the reading? Uh, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with Spirit telling us that um, we do need to be careful, okay? I said give us some insight. So this is the card representing that. We do need to be careful. You know, the magician is a real trickster, okay? It's a higher arcana card. And um, it's just a real trickster. So lots, lots of... Lots of different things that this guy can do, okay? And he can be a crumb. He's the trickster. He's the magician. He's not always a good good guy. So you, uh, Spirit is asking us all to be careful. Um, watch out for this energy. You know, use our discernment. Really, really use our discernment. Because this energy can be hard to spot, right? Because he's the magician. So really use your discernment, your intuition, your gut. You know, question everything. Question everything, right? So above the magician, it is, you know, question the information. So there's a lot of information that's probably not right not true don't get caught up in the information the rumors and stuff this is what spirit is telling us for insight enlightenment and advice okay um but have no fear truth will come up truth will come up to the surface it always has to with this card it has to so the truth will come up but when you're looking at the magician watch the information um be careful who you listen to be careful what you take in Keep your vibration up, okay? Keep your vibration up. Do whatever it takes to keep to keep vibrating at a really high, happy, loving vibration, all right? So that's our advice, okay? Across from that, across from the magician, it says we're, we, we've been through a lot, <laughs> We've been through a lot and it can be sad. Stop, stop thinking of all that's lost. Look to what is. Keep focus, keep our eye on the goal, basically, right? So look at this wand. This wand's bloomed. This guy's not looking at what's bloomed. He's too caught up in all that he feels is behind him. So keep your eye on the goal. Don't focus on the negatives. Really be discerning about what you're taking in, okay? Be discerning about what you're taking in. Know that the truth will come up to the surface. There's a lot of magicians out there right now. So, you know, be smart. Be smart, okay? Above this, we have the lover's card. The lover's is a higher arcana just like the magician, right? So if you look at the lovers, they're all caught up, so caught up in something that this guy doesn't even notice that he's been bitten, okay? So in this reading, I'm asking Spirit to give us some advice. As light workers, as people who care and um, are ready to, to make a shift into something better and we're using our thoughts and our words and we're projecting and we're praying and we're sending out love and we're sending out energy. I'm asking spirit to give us some insight and some advice. Okay. Don't get caught up in all of this. Be aware. Don't get so wrapped up in something that you're not noticing this okay so bump up your spiritual protection just like what i was saying bump up your spiritual protection um keep
Keep your vibration up high, okay? Keep yourself surrounded in love. Um, it's really a time. It's a time. Keep our eye on the goal, okay? Don't focus on the negatives. That only feeds the negative energy. We don't want to feed the negative energy. We want to keep our eye on the goal. We don't want to be so wrapped up that we're not seeing danger. Don't get so wrapped up that we're not seeing, right? So in order to not get bitten, we want to keep our vibrations high, be discerning, bump up our spiritual protection, know that there's a lot of trickery out there, know that there's a lot of stuff that we can't believe, but that truth will come up. Okay, so that's the insight. Now, what's driving this entire reading? What's driving it? We're about to begin something brand new. <laughs> Emotional. It's going to feel good. <clears throat> okay. It's going to feel good. We're about to start a new financial system as well. So we're about to see something new that's going to feel good. We're also going to start as Pentacles, brand new journey with our abundance. Okay. And at the very top of that, we got the sun, which is a higher arcana card. So the sun represents abundance, <laughs> prosperity, um, and it can represent uh, children. Probably shouldn't have said that word. I'm going to say it the once. It can represent that and it can represent gold. Okay. So we're going to start a new journey that's going to feel good. going to be a new financial journey. I would say it's going to be backed by gold. Okay. I would also say that it's going to feel good for all of us because this can be a dual card and it can be talking about little people. As it says, we're going to be feeling good about something. Perhaps that's the liberation of the little people. That would feel really good, wouldn't it? And the financial system backed by gold. So um, that's what's driving the reading. But it is, it's a tenuous time. And... There's trickery, and there's lies, and they want us to focus on negative things, and we can't. We need to keep our vibrations high. We need to keep our eye on the goal. We need to keep our eye on the positive things and the things that are happening that have life bloomed into them. You see that, that, that wand right beside him that he's not looking at that's in full bloom. So that's where we need to keep our minds. And we don't want to be getting caught up in the negatives and getting bitten, okay? All right, so we do want to, we want to keep our vibrations high. And we want to be calling in our entire spiritual team, our animal spirits, totems, guardians, and guides, the ones that we know of that are working with us, the ones that we don't know of, right? We want to be calling in our light beings. We want to be calling in our source energy. We want to be connecting with our highest version of self, okay? Our loved ones crossed over that we know have our back, our angels, all of that. Call it all in. Always say, though, when you're calling in your team, your light beings and, and all of that, always make it really clear that only love is welcome here. When you say something three times that ignites it, so only love is welcome here. Only love is welcome here. Only love is welcome here. So it is, right? I decree it. It is done. And then um, 
Only those that have your highest and greatest good for intentions are welcome here. Only those that love you and have your highest and greatest good for intentions and your soul's highest and greatest good for intentions are welcome here. So keep those words in mind, okay? Because it's important. You don't want to be calling in things that you don't want to be calling in. You want to make sure that your team is of that high vibration that has humanity's highest and greatest good for intention. Okay? So, yeah. I'm up you spiritual uh, protection. Call in all of those, all of those um, energies that are here helping us. Make your intentions clear that only love is welcome here and you're only going to allow that which has your highest and greatest good for intentions. And so, yeah, do, do all of that. And, uh, yeah, get excited for what's to come because we've got the brand new stuff. So I'm going to just get a couple more clarifying cards off of our sun card okay i think that's the one i want to i just want to get a couple more clarifiers spirits telling us that we have good things on the way that's exciting let's see a couple more clarifiers on the sun card our financial stuff is being mended you guys so our financial stuff is being mended and our, um, those, those baddies with ill intentions are being driven out. Can't complain about that. And then we get the Hierophant, very highly spiritual card when it's well aspected. And it is. So stay connected to source. If you notice... This is, um, this guy is, he's in prayer. He's got the angel wings, right? But he's in prayer. Yeah, so stay connected to your source energy. Stay tapped in. Pray. We're in the midst of great changes. Stay tapped in. Connect with your God. Connect with your highest version of self, all of your guides. You know, state what it is that you want. State what it is that you want. Don't focus. Don't focus on what's behind us. Don't focus on what you don't want. Keep your eye on the goal. Okay? Use all of the powers of the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very spiritual being. He's incredibly connected. He's very tapped in. And he can make miracles happen. Okay? So that's what we want to focus on. That. Knowing that things are being mended. Our finances are being mended. Right? Knowing that these guys are being driven out. And celebration is coming. The sun is like a triumph. It's a win. The sun is a winning card. Uh, it's warmth, it's celebration, it's abundance, it's happiness, it's 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 cold, it's warmth, it's life bearing. Okay, it's a good card. So that's what we want to focus on, but we want to stay very aware, and we want to take care of ourselves spiritually, and protect ourselves. All right. So you know. I, I really love hearing from all of you and hearing the, um, the spiritual work that you're doing on behalf of the planet and all of us, you know, all of us. It's quite a time to be alive. It's a very interesting time to be alive. And uh, it's really, I love hearing that um, so many of you are, are doing doing the work to help with this shift the you know you're doing the the uh, spiritual work with yourselves and you're putting that spiritual healing out there to the world and it's really um 
I love hearing it from you guys. So go ahead and comment some more and tell me what you're up to because that's the good stuff. That is the good stuff. And uh, I'm sorry about my video for Ireland getting cut off. I, I don't think that, I, the, no mistake there in the middle of my um, getting ready to tell everybody to bump up their spiritual protection. Camera went out. So maybe that was a message that um, icky things didn't want to get through. But you know what? It gets through anyways. Because I just go on to do this reading and, and finish my spiel here. So yeah, we've got good things coming. New beginnings. New beginnings that are going to feel good. New beginnings in our financial sector. Um getting rid of some ill intentions, <laughs> mending some things up, all really good stuff. Um, stay connected to source. Look out for tricksters. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't get caught up in the past. Keep your eye on the goal. Look at the, look at the things that are bloomed right next to you. Be aware so you don't get bitten and stay positive and high vibing. Okay. So that's our message from spirit. And yeah, um, definitely bump up the spiritual protection right now. All right, you guys, until next time, I hope that you found value in this. And um, yeah, go ahead, like, share, comment, hit the notification button. <laughs> I hate saying all of this. Uh, I, I used to always forget to say all of this, but... It really does help with the algorithms because that's basically what we're fighting uh, is algorithms and bots. So if you like it, if you share it, if you comment on it, if you subscribe, if you hit the all notification buttons, it helps the algorithm and it gets the message out and it gets the healing out to more people. Uh, it gets it gets circulated more and so it gets circulated more and then if those people that so choose want to tune in they can and they can receive the healing and the insight um but yeah it's all about the algorithms so anyway you guys all know the drill i hope that you found some value in this and i will see you uh next time but i do have one more thing to say there was somebody on, uh, somebody commented on the reading I did last week and they wanted me to do a reading on NM and that can stand for a lot of things. <laughs> so I had asked for clarification what it, what it is that they want me to read on and I haven't heard back. So if you're listening um, please do let me know exactly where you want me to read or what you want me to read on because I will do that for you. We're all in this together and um, I think when we all put our brains together and we say and someone says to me hey do you want to read on this or can you read on this it just broadens the story for us and it lets us see the bigger picture so um, definitely clarify where what it is that you want me to read on and I would be more than happy to do that for you absolutely so I hope that you see this and I hope that you um, you let me know what it is that you want me to read on okay you guys until next time much much love many many blessings uh, lots of prosperity lots of joy um, you know, bring in that joy, bring in that joy vibration, laugh, laugh, keep your eye on the goal, envision it like it is, uh, like it is right now in this moment. Don't envision the icky stuff, envision the good stuff as if it is right now uh, being lived out. All right, you guys, much, much love, much, much love from me to you. Until next time, take care.